Ok. Awesome. Um, being the beginning of the year, it feels like there's this, <laughs> like this pressure to like dive into goals with ambition. And I think um, for me personally, but I think for a lot of people, when we've moved through the holiday season and we've made it to the end of the year, there's also like a period of recovery that we have to offer ourselves to um, create balance so that we can actually move forward in a way that's sustainable. And so over the last couple of days, I found that what my body and my heart and my mind is really craving is like the elimination of excess, um, going back to like, what is essential for me to feel balanced? Uh, what are the basics for feeling balanced? And um, I mean, it comes down to, especially in the yoga practice, like breath, intention, and then moving in a way that feels um, simple or useful. And so the practice this week um, is a little bit more repetitive in terms of the movements on purpose. Uh, to find some sense of grounding um, as we step into the newness of this this chapter this year. Um, and I encourage you to move into the practice and allow it to be this opportunity to come back to like all the essentials. So I'm really focusing on breath and then the intention of what you energetically desire to embody this year versus like what is an external goal? What is my internal goal in terms of energy, right? Do I crave feeling more maybe grounded, more focused, more connected, more in tune, um, more kind to myself, more aware of the inner dialogue, whatever it might be in terms of like an internal energetic goal versus like placing this like external carrot that we're reaching for. Um, so anyways, moving with that in mind, if that feels true for you, or if you do have like a resolution or whatnot, maybe you you move with that at your heart. But we're going to start um, in seated meditation this morning. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Take a moment just to adjust, closing down your eyes so you can really tune into sensation. And as we start to settle into this moment, we anchor ourselves to the present through our senses, yeah. So we start with our physical sensations, feeling the sits bones ground into the earth or a block if you're sitting on one. You can feel the tilt of the bowl of your pelvis, the length of your spine. Maybe take a shoulder shrug to set your shoulders back and open your chest. Feel your hands where they're placed. Allow your jaw to relax, your forehead to soften. And as you feel into all the physical sensations, also start to notice any subtle sounds around you. Tuning into the auditory sensation. Maybe any smells, brewed coffee, and if you have a candle lit. And with your eyes closed, you'll be visualizing that energetic embodiment. What does your life look like? How does it feel when you are energetically balanced and connected to Right, groundedness, focus, whatever it is that you are hoping to call in. And beginning to deepen your breath around this energetic intense intention. Allow every inhale to slowly expand in every direction. And let every exhale just gradually start to slow down become steadier and more complete, emptying all the way to the bottom.
And as we use these anchors to the present of sensation, of senses, of breath, and some of the clutter starts to clear from our minds, we make space. Just noticing what comes to the surface. And we make space, what rises to reach for our attention. And allowing ourselves to really tune into that with honesty, not trying to push anything away. Just noticing what comes up when we make the space to actually pay attention and notice. As often that's the signal as to what our bodies, our hearts, our minds are actually craving and actually desire. It's taking a couple more moments to feel into sensation, breath and energetic intention. And also acknowledging this time that you've chosen to take out of your morning to move and to breathe and to connect to the deepest parts of yourself, to lean into the support of your practice. And then holding that energetic intention at your heart, maybe bring one or both hands to your heart space. And we'll take three rounds of cleansing breath together. Yeah, so gathering a deep inhale in, fill your lungs all the way to the top. And then open mouth, exhale to release. Moving at your own pace, we find two more and inhale as you're ready. And then clear that breath away. And just one more time, your deepest breath yet. And then allow that breath to empty out. As you release your hands, let your lips seal, take an ujjayi breath into your nose. And keeping your lips sealed, ujjayi, exhale, see your nose. When you're ready, slowly start to blink your eyes open. We're going to stay in a seat to start, but if you're not in a cross-legged seat, go ahead and find a cross-legged seat. Maybe switch whichever shin is in front. And then as you find your cross-legged seat, we'll take an inhale to circle, sweep our hands up to the sky, reaching tall. And your exhale, bring your hands through heart center. Just twice more like that, big breath in, circle, sweep, opening through your shoulders. And exhale, hands through heart center. One more time, deep inhale, circle, sweep, gathering in energy. And exhale, drawing that energy through to your heart. And let your hands come to the fronts of your knees. Then inhale, draw your chest forward, think cow spine. Draw your shoulder blades together, open your collarbones wide. And then as you exhale, hold on to your knees, press your knees down towards the earth and start to round into a cat spine. Tuck through your tailbone, tuck through your chin, really let your shoulder blades spread wide. And then twice more like that, we'll inhale towards our cow spine, open through your chest. Maybe look up if that feels good. And exhale to your cat spine, tuck and round. And last time here, big breath in, draw your chest forward. And exhale to round through your spine. With your next inhale, as you rise up, reach up. And then on your exhale, fold forward any amount. Take one big breath towards the back of your body. 
And your exhale, we fold a little bit deeper. As you slowly rise up and reach up, go ahead and switch out the shin that's in front. And then we're gonna bring our hands down beside us to the earth. Bring your fingertips to the ground, leaning back as much as you need to, to connect to the earth. Really open your chest, inhale. And exhale. With a big breath in, reach your hands high. And exhale to a side bend. Let your left hand come to the earth. Reach your right hand up and over. Relax your shoulders out of your ears. Allow the weight of your skull to relax as well. Just take one big breath into your right side body. One slow exhale. The inhale to rise up and reach up. And following your out breath, just switch sides. And allow your shoulders to slide out of your ears. Relax your head. And then start to offer your breath into the left side of your body. And from here, we'll rise up and reach up with an inhale. On your exhale, twist, turn to your left. Let your right hand reach across to your left knee. Left fingertips prop up behind you like a second spine. Just for your inhale, get proud through your chest. And just for your exhale, find a little bit of a twist. As you breathe in, we'll unwind through center. Hands go high. And exhale, second side. Left hand sweeps across. Reach your right fingertips behind you. Follow an inhale to lift up. And exhale for slight rotation. Your last breath here will be a big breath to reach through center again. And we're gonna fold forward, dive across your shin bones. Relax into your head, take your single breath here, deep inhale. And deep exhale. As you're ready, you're starting to rise up just enough to roll over into your tabletop pose, start to find all fours. Again, connecting with every angle of the spine, we'll start to inhale to a cow pose. Lift up through your heart, lift up through your tailbone. And as you're ready, exhale to your cat pose, tuck your tail and round your spine, push the earth away. As you come back to neutral, find a little C curve, peek over your left shoulder, look towards your left hip, wag your tail towards the left. Then inhale through center and switch sides. You're gonna peek over your right shoulder. As you wag your tail to the right, lengthen through your left side body, contract through your right side body. And then bring it through your center. With a breath in, think cow pose again. As you exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, begin to send your pelvis up and back. Take a little pedal action through your feet. Reaching one heel towards the earth and then the other. Then starting to walk it forward into your forward fold, find the top of your yoga mat. Allow your knees to soften as you rest your belly towards your thigh. Relax your head. Take a moment here just to breathe, just to be. Bring back to that energetic intention that you've set. And then when you're ready, start to inhale to find your halfway lift, focusing on the length and the strength along your spine and through your core. And with your exhale forward, fold, let it go. As you breathe in, rise all the way to stand or the hastasana, big circle sweep as you reach high. And then exhale, hands to heart center, closing down your eyes. Take a big breath through your nose. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. And your inhale, reach towards the ceiling. And your exhale, goddess arms will be softness in your knees, open through your chest. 
And big breath in, reach up high. On your exhale, we're going to take an open arm side bend, leaning to the left. So let your left hand release down beside you. Reach your right hand up and overhead. Again, you might have some softness in your knees to lengthen through your low back. Then inhale, both hands go high through center. And just exhale to switch. Right hand's going to drape alongside you. Reach your left hand up and over. Follow a big breath in to bring it back to the midline. And then exit a forward fold. Soften your knees and hinge at your hips. Halfway lift to lengthen out. Then on your exhale, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Allow your left knee to lower down to the ground. On Janiyasana, lift your heart and hands. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, lean your heart forward, airplane your arms beside you. Then inhale, rise and reach back up. As we exhale, we're going to take an open arm twist to the right. Reach your right hand back and your left hand forward. Okay, option to stay here. Option for your left hand to go to the outside of your right knee. And you can use that as leverage to twist a little bit deeper. If you look back to your right thumb and take just one slow breath. From here, we're going to unwind the face forward on Janayasana, big breath in. As you exhale, hands to the earth, lift your back knee and lengthen both of your legs to your cat stretch, your cat lunge. So you open through your hamstring, elongate through your spine, and then return back to your breath. Slow, steady inhale. Slow, steady exhale. Start to bend into your right knee. And as you plant down through your palms, step back into a high plank. Right foot's going to join your left. And knees can be up or knees can be down. The choice is yours, but take one intentional breath right here. Use your exhale to encourage your front ribs up and in. With your navel to your spine, inhale, shift it forward. And exhale slowly to your belly, really taking your time to draw your shoulders out of your ears as you lower down. Untuck your toes, root down to the tops of your feet, and use your inhale to find your low cold breath. On your exhale, release. And inhale to your low cold breath, perhaps your high cold breath. If you feel ready to use your hands to lift a little bit higher. Then exhale, let it go. Third and final round here will be low cobra, high cobra, or your upward facing dog with your breath in. And then let your exhale guide you back to downward facing dog breath out. On your inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, step or hop to the top to find your forward fold. As you arrive, breathe into your halfway lift. Breath out to fold forward. We rise to stand with inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to heart, close down your eyes as you exhale. Coming back to intention, back to breath, deep inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale, hands reach high. Exhale, soft knees, goddess your arms. Breath in, reach to the sky. On your breath out, open arms, side bend to the left. Left hand's going to drape low, reach your right hand overhead. Your inhale lengthens you through the midline. Reach up. Exhale, second side, right arm releases, left hand stretches up and over. Inhale to rise up and reach up. And exhale to forward fold. And a halfway lift with your breath in. As you empty your breath, step your right foot to the back of your yoga mat. Release your right knee to the earth. And then lift through your heart and hands on Janayasana. Allow your exit to lean you forward, airplane your arms beside you, lengthen through your spine. Big breath in, rise up and reach up. But to find your open arm twist with exhale, left hand's going to go back, reach your right hand forward. Draw your shoulder blades together, let your collarbones open. 
Perhaps your right hand finds the outside of your left thigh and you use that to help twist around. Press the back of your left hand to the wall behind your heart and slightly press your left knee wide towards the left side of your yoga mat. With an in-breath, we'll bring it back to the midline, unwind, reach up. And exhale to your cat lunge, lift your back knee and start to lengthen both of your legs. Hug your right hip forward, draw your left hip back, finding squareness in your pelvis. Then extend through your spine, using your inhale to lengthen. And your exhale, if you soften into the stretch a little bit more. Begin to bend into your left knee. With intention, plant through your hands. And step your left foot back to join your right high plank. We'll inhale to shift it forward. As you exhale, chaturanga, lower half wire all the way. Knees can always be on the earth. Inhale to up dog or cobra. You choose your heart opening. As you exhale, downward facing dog, hips find the sky. Take a big breath through your nose. Open up, exhale, let it go. And inhale, heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top, forward fold. As you arrive, inhale to lift up half foot. Exhale, chair pose this time, sink into your seat, lift your heart and hands. Bend a big breath in as you reach. On your exhale, airplane your arms beside you. Inhale, rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, goddess, your arms. Reach to the sky with your breath in. Side bend to the left as you breathe out. Left hand falls beside you. Right hand reaches up and over. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, switch, lean over to the right. Breath in brings you back through center. Breath out to forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe extension through your spine. This time step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat, low lunge. Right. Left knee is gonna stay lifted this time. If you prefer to drop it to the earth, if you to lower your left knee. Crescent lunge, we rise up through heart and hands, big breath in. When you're ready, exit up on your airplane arms, dive your chest forward, sweep your arms beside you. Inhale, rise up, high crescent, reach tall. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, swim your right hand back and reach your left hand forward. Right. This time we're gonna keep the twist nice and open. And just take an extra breath here. With your inhale, exalt your crescent, keep the twist, reach your left hand high. Maybe right fingertips reach towards your left hamstring or just towards the back of your yoga mat. Then as you breathe out, keeping the twist, use your core to slowly bring your left hand down to the earth on the inside of your right foot. So you find your twisted low lunge, rotate your heart towards the right side of the rib. Press the back of your right hand to the wall that's behind your heart. Take your inhale and exhale, right hand to the ground. Lengthen out your legs to find your cat stretch. Take one breath in and one breath out. Get to bend into your right knee. High plank, plant through your palms, step your right foot back. The inhale forward, chaturanga or down dog as you exhale, choose to float, or maybe decide to skip it. Okay, focusing on quality over quantity. From your downward facing dog, once you arrive, use your inhale to lift your heels. Exhale to travel forward, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift with your breath in. Ukatasana chair pose, exit to sink your seat. Breathe length into your arms, into your spine as you reach. Breath out to airplane your arms beside you. Inhale to rise up and reach up. On your out breath, goddess arms. Again, you can soften your knees if you want. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, open arms, side bend to the left, lean to your left. Follow your inhale to rise to the midline. And exhale to find the opposite side. Your inhale rises you up. 
Exhale, fold forward. Lift halfway, gather in your breath. Step your right foot to the back of your yoga mat as you breathe out. Decide if you want your back knee up or down. And then follow your next inhalation to lift up. High press up on. On your exhale, airplane your arms, dive your chest forward, keep your right thigh bone lifted and powerful. Inhale, high crescent, rise tall again. Exhale, open arm twist on your left hand back, reach your right hand forward. Create that space between your shoulders and your ears. You take a breath. Keeping the twist, start to exalt. Send your right fingertips high, breathe along the right side of your body. And slow and strong, keeping your twist twisted, low lunge. You'll rev your right hand down to the earth and reach your left hand to the sky. So to wrap your right ribs towards your left thigh bone, try not to let your right hip drop as you take a breath in. With your breath out, your left hand lower to the earth and lengthen both of your legs for your hamstring stretch. We really draw your left thigh bone back and up as you breathe in. Maybe melt your heart a little bit closer to your thigh with exhale. When you're ready, start to bend into your left knee. High plank pose, left foot joins your right. We inhale forward. Exhale, you choose chaturanga or downward facing dog. As you find your downward facing dog, we're gonna take a moment here to find an additional stretch. So walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands and about as wide as your yoga mat. You can bend your knees as much as you want to. So you're kind of in between like this forward fold and downward dog shape. It's more like a functional forward fold. You're gonna take your right hand to the outside of your left ankle. As you bend through your right elbow, twist your heart underneath your left armpit. Relax your head. Press down through your feet to stretch your sits bones towards the sky. Take one big breath in. Keep leaning back. So your pelvis is reaching back and up. As you breathe out, remember to relax your head. Switching sides, use an inhale to reach your right hand forward. As you exhale, left hand's gonna wrap across to grab your right ankle. And then bend your left elbow, twist underneath your right armpit, push down forward through your right hand, root through your feet. Look underneath your right armpit, taking a breath, relax through your head. Once you're ready, release your left hand forward. Return to your downward facing dog. Use an inhale to lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top forward fold. Good, bend a little halfway lift with your inhale. Chair pose as you exhale, sit into your seat. So to lift your heart and hands, big breath in. We exhale to airplane our arms beside us. We're gonna do a little switch up here, a little add on. So to lean into your right foot, yeah? As you lean into your right foot, slowly bring your left leg with you to stand. And then just double check your right foot on the earth, your left leg is lifted. I know oftentimes our first standing leg is the opposite. Take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. You want to add an extension of your left leg, you can kick your left heel forward. And then inhale, bend your left knee, reach your hands to the ceiling. Exhale through your airplane pose to arrive in your high crescent lunge. So we just give in your airplane an inhale to elongate. And we exhale, left toes land. Heart reaches high, hand reaches high, big breath in. Airplane your arms beside you, breath out. Inhale, high crescent, rise and reach top. Exhale to open arm twist to the right, just like before, reach your right hand back, left hand forward. Use your inhale to exalt, left hand finds the sky. Keeping the twist, exhale to your twisted low lunge. Slow and strong using the strength of your right glute. As you plant your left palm, twist your heart open with an inhale. Right hand releases to the earth, lengthen your legs as you exhale, hamstring stretch. 
You got extra breath in and extra breath out. Bend into your right knee. High plank pose, right foot joins your left. Inhale, shift seat forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, you can always choose to go directly to your downward facing dog instead. Remember, you to come back to the basics of breath, body awareness, and intention. When you're ready, inhale, heels high. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop to the top. Breath in to lift up halfway, really recruit your belly. Breath out towards your chair pose, sink your seat. Use your inhale to create length. We exhale our airplane arms, leaning into your left foot. Slowly start to root to rise with your right knee. Take a moment just to find yourself here, creating steadiness in breath. And then when you're ready, take an inhale. As you goddess your arms, option to keep your right knee bent, option to extend your right leg forward for a moment. Bend your right knee, reach your hands high with your breath in. Airplane pose, you start to fly back on exhale. Offer one generous breath into your airplane, getting as long as you can from crown to right foot to fingertips. And crescent lunge, your out breath descends your right toes to the earth. Reaching high, fill your lungs up again. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, open arm, twist to the left. Breath in to exalt, keep the twist, tip it back. Breath out is twisted, low lunge, right hand to the earth, left hand to the sky. Take an inhale to deepen your twist. Exhale, left hand lowers, hamstring stretch, lengthen through your legs. Take one breath in and one breath out. So you bend into your left knee, high plank, left foot steps back. Inhale, slide it forward. Exhale, chaturanga or downward dog. Continuing to build onto this flow a little bit more. Inhale, heels rise. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop. Breath in to lift up halfway. Breath out to your chair pose. Inhale, rise the rest of the way. Exhale, airplane arms. Lean into your right foot. Bring your left leg with you to stand. Give yourself a moment to arrive, to settle. Take a deep breath in. Goddess arms, maybe extend your left leg, exhale. Bend your left knee, reach your hands high with an in breath. Airplane pose, out breath. Right. Breathe extension through your body. Stay for exhale. Then take two more breaths here. Trying to study each cycle of breath. Slowly start to bend into your right knee. Release into your crescent lunge. Take an inhale as you reach top. Just like before, exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, open our twist to the right. Breath in to exalt, tip it high. Breath out, twisted low lunge, left hand to the earth, right hand to the sky. Use your inhale to deepen your twist. As you exhale, right hand to the earth, lengthen your right leg hamstring stretch. Take one breath in and one breath out. This time as you bend into your right knee, we're going to add in a wide-legged forward fold. So turn all 10 toes to the left side of your yoga mat and hinge forward at your hips. Take a breath in and take an exhale. Adding in a twist here, you can either bring your right hand to the earth or to a yoga block and reach your left hand high. Some of you might be able to bring your right forearm to the ground, reaching your left hand high. 
You could also reach your right hand to your left ankle, similar to what we did in that downward facing dog variation, and then twist your left hand high. Bring your shoulders out of your ears to relax your head slightly, take an inhale. Then exit a switch. Left hand is gonna find the position that feels good for your body. Reach your right hand to the sky. Go ahead and release into your wide-legged forward fold again. Inhale to lift up halfway. And use your exit to turn the top of your yoga mat low lunge. We'll step back into our high plank, resetting either with a chaturanga or going directly to downward facing dog. Just choosing the journey that feels good for you. You meet back in our downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open up, exhale out. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top forward fold. Take your halfway lift with your inhale. Move towards your chair pose, hips sink as you exhale. Breathe in, rise and reach through your hands. Breath out, air pin your arms beside you. Lean into your left foot, bring your right leg with you, breathing to stand. We arrive with exhale. Gather in your next breath. When you're ready, goddess arms option to extend your right leg. Bend your knees, reach your hands high, breathe in. Airplane pulls breath out. Continue to spread your collarbones open across your chest. Your palms facing down, thumbs go wide and high. Right, feel your shoulder blades draw together. Take those extra two breaths here. and see how controlled you can release to the earth, high crescent lunge. As your right toes descend, breathe in, reach high. Exhale, airplane arms, dive forward. Inhale, rise up and reach up. Exhale, open arm, twist, peel open to the left. Follow your inhale to exalt, sweep your right hand tall. Exhale, twisted low lunge, right hand to the earth, left hand at the sky. Breath in to find a deeper twist. Breath out to release and lengthen your legs. Take an inhale in and an exhale out. As you bend into your left knee, you're gonna turn all 10 toes to the right, wide-legged forward fold. From your wide-legged forward fold, inhale to a halfway lift, lift this time. We're gonna exhale and bend our right knee, either for your side lunge, or skandhasana. So you can be in your more lifted lateral lunge or you can be in skandhasana. Either is fine. Take an extra breath in and a slow breath out. As you're ready, just switching sides, bend your left knee, either stay in your more lifted lateral lunge, all four corners of your right foot are grounded, or you might sink your seat into skandhasana and flex your right toes to the sky. As you choose your hip opening, you take a breath in and take a breath out. And from here, we're gonna turn to the front of our yoga mat, low lunge to face forward. Step back into your high plank pose. Use an inhale to shift through, exhale chaturanga or downward facing dog. <laughs> We'll take a big breath in. Open up, exhale out. Inhale your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand so you're in your lizard lunge. Let your left knee lower to the earth. And then here we're gonna spend a couple rounds of breath. You have options. You can stay on your hands. You can drop to your forearm. You can twist towards the right side of the room, reaching your right hand back. You can be on your left hand in your twist, or you could also be on your left forearm in your twist. Whether you're twisting or not, you have the option to bend your left heel towards your seat, 
to find a deeper thigh stretch through your left quad. So you're either intentionally squaring off or intentionally twisting open. If it feels natural for your right toes to turn to the right and your right hip to externally rotate a little bit more, feel free to allow that. We close your eyes and take two more cycles of breath. And there's no rush to exit this shape. We're gonna be moving into a wide half split next. So as you press back up to your hands, you're gonna keep your right foot wide in this lizard lunge position. Start to lengthen your right leg and shift your pelvis back in space. Flex your right toes to this sky. And always use blocks to bring the earth closer. Think about dragging your right heel down into the earth and back towards the back of your yoga mat. Um, and you can allow yourself to melt forward. You can focus on more like a cow spine, two different ways to deepen. And then take another breath or so. Get really strong through your right leg. And then from here, Again, feel free to stay here longer if you want to. We're going to bend into our right knee again. But this time we're going to wander our foot across for our half pigeon. As your right shin moves towards parallel to the top of your yoga mat, that of course is over time. So maybe your right heel is a little bit closer to your right hip. That's fine. Think about drawing your right hip back in space. Like your left hip forward and to the midline. Big breath in, prowl through your chest. You can stay lifted or as you exhale, maybe lower it down, forearms to the earth or to a yoga block, whatever depth feels good for you this morning. As you let your shoulders soften out of your ears, take three cycles of breath. Let's take our last breath here together. Deep inhale in. And then open up, exhale out. When you're ready to transition, bring your hands to the earth in front of your right shin. Tuck your back toes. Send it back into your three-legged dog. Option for some gentle hip circles. Whatever movement feels good to help reset and release the right hip. We'll eventually go back into our downward facing dog and then you'll lift your left leg high as you inhale. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand as you exhale. Right knee releases to the earth and here you are in your lizard lunge second side. So again maybe you stay on your hands and draw your ribcage forward. Maybe you drop to your forearms. Whether you're on your hands or your forearm you can add a twist and reach your left hand back. Whether you're on your hands or your forearms, you're twisting or you're not, you can bend your right heel to your seat. So you can also stay square and bend your right heel to your seat. Sometimes that's one of my favorite variations. Sometimes I like to add the twist in. Sometimes I add the twist first and then I square my heart forward. That can be a really nice depth if you have a lot of space to your right quad. Yeah, remember you adjust the angle of your left toes to agree with what angle feels good for your left knee. And then take your breaths here. So three really slow, intentional cycles of breath. Again, coming back to foundation. Noticing the sensations and sounds around you as you focus on inhale in. And exhale out.
relaxing through your jaws with maybe one more cycle of breath here. When you're ready for your wide half split, you start to lengthen out your left leg. Shifting your pelvis back in space. Sometimes the wide variation of a half split is nice. It gives us a little bit more space in the body. And so sometimes you can get a little bit deeper because your left foot is not in line with your hip. So exploring the space here. Again, you might think about like a cow spine lifting through your heart and tailbone, or you might think about diving forward. Maybe your hands are on yoga blocks. It just depends. See so if you can pull your left toes back towards your face, really light up all the muscles along your left leg, especially through your quad. And then through your left heel, dragging to the back of your yoga mat. So a really active opening. Notice if your shoulders are creeping into your ears, relax your shoulders back and down. And now as you're ready to make your way into your half pigeon, so we're headed next, so you'll bend into your front knee. Scoot your left foot across your yoga mat. As your left shin bone lowers to the earth, make any adjustments necessary, scooching your right thigh back, okay, squaring off to your right hip. And again, you can choose to stay lifted or you can make the decision to lower it down. And then, of course, honoring that your second side might need something very different or slightly different than the first, yeah? And we allow ourselves to settle back into breath. And noticing how it feels and what comes up when we allow some space. Last breath here, we'll take it together. Deep inhale in. And open mouth, exhale out. Just like before, go ahead and slowly press up to your hands. Now tuck your back toes underneath. And then send your left leg up and back. Maybe finding some gentle hip movement here just to release. We'll meet back in downward dog as you're ready. And then you choose how you travel to the top of your yoga mat. You can step forward, you can hop forward, you can tiptoe forward. Find one last half thigh lift as you inhale. Then bend your knees and sit down with your exhale. Yeah, sending your legs out in front of you. Take a nice big breath in, reach to the sky. On your exhale, fold forward and your mouth, maybe some softness in your knees as you dive towards your feet. Shoulders out of ears, we're just here for one cycle of breath. After your one breath, go ahead and rise up and reach up again. And using the strength of your core, slow and strong navel pulse to spine as you lower all the way down. If you find the back of your body, go ahead and bend your knees, take your feet about as wide as your yoga mat, and find a couple of slow windshield wipers from side to side. After you've taken a couple of windshield wipers, now set yourself up for your bridge pose. So keeping your knees bent, just walk your feet slightly in. Take a nice big inhale. And then when you're ready, use your exhale to root down into your feet. Begin to scoop your pelvis up towards the sky. As you open up our front body again, really drive down to the backs of your arms. You might even scoot your shoulder blades a little bit closer together behind your heart. You can use your hands to help support your hips if that feels good. 
but there's still engagement through your body here. Your belly is active. Your hamstrings and your glutes are engaged. The four corners of your feet are anchored to the earth to help with the engagement along the lengths of your legs. Draw your shoulders actively out of your ears and reach the crown of your head actively to the baseboard behind you. And find two more cycles of breath. Slowly start to lower down, let your hips arrive to the earth. When they do, draw your right knee to your right shoulder, extend your left leg forward across your yoga mat. Pause and take an inhale. Then as you're ready, exhale to your supine twist, left knee tips over to the right. Or rather, right knee tips over to the left. <laughs> take one cycle of breath here. And then just taking your time, we're gonna bring it through center and we're just gonna do a simple switch to switch out our legs. Draw your left knee in, release your right leg forward. Think about lengthening your spine as you pull your left leg to your body, big inhale. Exhale to your twist, this time your left knee is gonna tip across you for real, left shoulder releases back and down. Then settle in for that breath or two. If you start to find your way back to center, you'll bring both of your knees to your chest. And then we're gonna to move towards an inversion. Um, and then we'll take a brief moment in butterfly. If you prefer to go straight into your butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana, feel free to go there. Otherwise, you might send your legs just up to the sky for your legs up pose. You could also go to either your plow or your shutter stand or spend some time in both. So deciding if you'd like to lift your hips up and over you, or maybe making the choice just to send your legs to the ceiling. Whatever shape that you're choosing or shapes that you're exploring, allow yourself three to five cycles of breath. And like I said, after your third or fifth breath, we're going to be meeting in our butterfly Supta Baddha Konasana. So when you are ready to go there, just taking your time to lower with control from whatever shape you're currently in. Making sure you use your belly strength, your hands as breaks, allowing your knees to naturally soften as you release. Now bring the soles of your feet together, knees will open wide. Maybe allow this diamond to be a little bit longer than it typically is for your body, just allowing some spaciousness through the hips, not needing it to be your most intense stretch. As you close down your eyes, just taking three cleansing breaths here. We'll inhale deeply through the nose. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. Again, deep breath in. And exhale to release. Just one more time, inhale through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. So you check in with yourself, check in with your body and your breath. You can choose to stay right here just as you are, or you can start to make your way slowly into your Shavasana. So whether that is going directly there and just lengthening your legs out, 
or if you'd like to bring your knees to your chest, we curl your nose up to your knees. Drawing into one final squeeze before you extend. Just making your way into whatever shape you would like to rest in. Give yourself a moment to get really comfortable and cozy. And as you allow yourself to settle in and your eyes to close, allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Just allowing inhale and exhale to flow organically in and out of your body. As we release away the effort from the breath, we encourage any lingering effort or attention in the body to also melt away. We let any excess that's accumulated in the mind begin to dissolve into the background. So we can arrive to this moment right here, right now, once again. Feeling the spaciousness in body, heart, and mind that our practice has helped to create. And again, just allowing ourselves to reconnect to the basics, to foundation, to what helps us feel most balanced in our bodies and in the lives that we lead. Taking this last minute or so to come back to your body, back to your breath. Noticing how quickly our minds return to the busyness of our to-do lists, what is undone, things to come things that have already happened. And then just reminding yourself that you have your breath as a tool to bring you back to the moment that's right in front of you whenever you need that reset. You have the basics, the foundation of body and breath and intention to help us recalibrate. So allowing your hands to be find your heart center we close our practice just with a moment of appreciation, of gratitude for all that this practice offers us. And for the community, the pathways, and the tools it provides. Pausing gratitude for our bodies and all that we're physically capable of, for our health, our well being, and for our breath that sustains us. And also, in gratitude, taking a deep inhale, let your lungs fill all the way up again. And then open mouth, exhale to release. 
Uh, may yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may each of our practices serve as our teachers, always leading us to live with authenticity and to love deeply each and every day. Yeah, thank you so much and namaste.